Alrighty folks, and welcome back to my World of Tanks replays. I am Meaden of the Ebris Legio Clan on the North American server. Uh, we're here today with Brolo, or Bro, Craw, and myself in my 3001H. I love this little tank. It's a the tier 6 to get you started down towards E50 and E50M. Um, got Craw here in his... T-150 and uh, uh, Bro is in the KV-1S. We're going to take over to the hill here, but um, as you can see, it's really just us. We do have a Panzer 38NA who shows up, but uh, makes a mistake and gets himself killed. I make a mistake. I make a big mistake, and I have to live with it for the rest of the match, but it forces me to do a pretty funny moment near the end. If you look at that KV-1, this guy that guy. Find him. If, if you see him, block him. Report him for everything that you can. This, he's back here. He's messing with their artillery. He's trying... He's shooting out tracks. He's being an all-around fucking retard. I apologize about the language, but you know, I served six years in the army. I can swear. And I will swear. A lot. I'm going to take a peek around the corner here, though, to see what this bringing up, and T1 Heavy, oh shit, there's a lot more than I expected, there goes my tracks, I'm trying to take a pop shot here, uh, there goes my ammo, I have to repair the tracks because if I stay out there any longer, I won't be able to back away, so now I'm just going to have to deal with the damaged ammo rack. I pull back behind uh, um, Bro here, and there's that Panzer 38 in A. Um, Carl's going to come in behind me. He's also going to be watching our backs to make sure we don't get uh, outflanked. And the t uh, Panzer 38 in A is spotting for the artillery who uh, continue to miss. But then again, you know they got that KV-1 back there in the back that's messing it all up for everybody. And they, how can they do their jobs appropriately with that guy, you know, screwing off back there? As you can see, the M4 is coming back to try and, you know, push this guy away, but he's not going to be able to do it. He's back there trying to provoke friendly fire. Um... I wish I could get the video of what's going on back there because I would like to know exactly what's going on. Um, likely not going to happen though. But if any of my viewers happen to have that replay for what's going on back there, by all means send it to me and I'll make sure some gold gets your way. So there we go, our first kill on our team. Um, Bro takes out the KV-1. I now have to deal with this ridiculously long reload time. Watching my angles, making sure you know I'm tucked in okay because artillery can hit the spot here where I'm at. Uh, I've been hit here all the time. I'm surprised they're not shooting at me now. And bro takes a small little hit there, and I'm just waiting for them to make the first move. Now we're suspecting, and uh, there we go, there's suspicions are correct, uh, Churchill is trying to uh, come around behind us, so Kral's going to go and deal with him, keep him off our backs. The heads are up there, doesn't really do much. Uh, he, he shoots, but he's not doing anything. As you can see, a whole 31 damage. I'm assuming he's firing high explosive. So the KV-1's coming up here, I'm going to back back up behind um, Bro, get a nice hit there into his lower glacis. And uh, now the KV-1's back there trying to get the team to kill him. I mean, this battle had the potential to go horribly wrong, uh, especially when you got teammates doing shit like this. And there we go, there's my kill. We're up to four kills between us now.
and just look at that four tanks coming up here we taking care of them and no small part to artillery that M37's got three kills good job that's 285 they come up and line up my shots and Craw finishes them off now Bro and Craw they're gonna head up uh, this back road Whereas I'm actually planning on going this direction. Since I'm medium tank, it's my job to be uh, out flanking the enemy while they take them on head on. So I'm going to go up here and see if I can't whip around whatever might, whatever they might uh, encounter. Because as you can see, there's still um, a tank destroyer, a crusader, it's an AT-8 actually, um, and their three artillery. Now we're assuming that they're going to come up, um, there was, I should have already encountered them there, so now we're just going to keep pressing forward and see exactly where they're at. And it's right about here that I spot the priest. Yep, there he is. Making a run for the other side. I'm going to line up my shot. And they, oh, and, and look, there goes Storm Panzer. Well, I got a really long reload. He can get away. So, here we go, ramming speed! Knocked him. Uh, he's going to be feeling that for the next couple of games. That's some serious whiplash, and that tank is never going to be the same again after getting hit like that. Oh, and there's a big hit from something on our hill. Could have been the Crusader. Or what? Maybe it was the AT-8. Pretty certain it was the AT-8. But the AT-8's now trying to press forward. I think a shot and miss. Bro and Craw, they're going to go ahead and start capping because they're not going to be able to get over here in time. And look at that priest. I thought maybe he was going to come up here and suicide. But if he was going to do that, he could have jumped off his own cliffs. I have no idea what this guy was actually trying to do, except maybe just get a different angle on us. I do get a nice hit there on that AT-8. And now I'm going to go try and find this priest before bro and craw cap. And as you see there, and keep checking my flanks, make sure this guy hasn't turned around and take shots at me. Realizing I'm not going to find the priest in time, so I'm just going to try and get one more good hit into this AT-8 before the battle's over. And there you go, finishing off with 1559 damage. Alright, well, that was the end of this replay. Um, thank you all for watching. Please leave your comments below. And, you know, take care on that battlefield. Catch you next time.